I'm driving down 63, one of the dangerous, most dangerous highways in the world. Uh, it's just been opened up with the twinning. The road itself is actually pretty shitty today. Um, let's just say that it could be plowed and there's just a lot of slush on the road. And, and like I'm driving across the twinning in one lane because it's just smarter driving dryer pass with you know very little cars in the road but yeah I'm heading back by myself right now after dealing with a fucked up day yesterday um how do you explain to people that they need to get out of themselves and they need to start listening and they need to start appreciating and understanding how other people operate when they're not listening and they're in their own world and they, they don't they don't get it so yesterday after dealing with, first of all, uh, I had yesterday basically planned out to a T what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, how I wanted to operate. And being bipolar and narcissistic is a big issue that I have to basically follow my plans and follow it. Uh, that or, you know, at least feel comfortable. If I don't feel comfortable, then I don't want to go there. Unless it's, it's for, you know, a real purpose, so for work or anything else like that. Like, I'm driving right now back to Calgary to go see Sticky Fingers because, you know, Sticky's giving me some real good life advice. It's one reason why I went to Fort McMurray to begin with. But, uh, you know, I, I have to talk business with them, so I have to get back back, back down to, to Calgary. The stated is that, like, yesterday I woke up, you know, good time, whatnot noticed that, you know, the person stayed and saying they are going to be there was not there. Um, and then I call and, you know, have a conversation, let them know what's up. And this is after a couple experiences of me flipping out for similar situations again because timing is a pet peeve of mine. Um, Literally, I'm hitting myself in the head because I'm freaking out because my timing is just so off. Even though I, I ease into the situation. And then I get blamed and get blamed and get blamed and get blamed to the point of it. Like, I have no idea how to act or respond. Like, I'm, I'm so much in my fucking bipolar fit now that I, I, I can't deal. I can't deal at all. And then I hop into a car was having electrical issues that are known, by the way. And, I, and this is my problem too, is every time I say something, I'm not heard. And then I go do another fucking flip. And then the right light goes out, fuses get burnt out. Who knows why, but when I'm in the car, starting my shitty day. And then on top of it, I'm going to a place that I am afraid to death to go to. When I say afraid to death, I mean like they torched me for 46 days against my will. Mentally, physically, it was abuse to the T for profits on top of it. And this is where I've been asking for people to help me get a lawsuit started and everybody's basically pushing me to the side. And this is part of my issue again. Asking for help with the proper resources and trying my best to do what I can and trying to be there for everyone else and then nobody's there in return and re restating the appreciation. I'm always giving, giving, giving. And it's not about asking to receive, it's people need to start showing. So after going to the hospital by myself, which was my good experience, my, I had two good experiences yesterday. One dealing with Aurora, and then the other was, you know, actually in the hospital, funny enough. Like, my, my life is so ass backwards. I ended up going to the hospital, getting the right time after flipping out, and who knows, I might get a ticket because I'm parking and the, the parking meter wasn't even working. But that stated, uh, well, I got there at the right time, walked in with everybody, which was nice. Played the drum, presented the drum, which was nice. Uh, at the end of it, we had a talk, which was nice. And it was, you know, very wise. And it was worth me coming up here. Don't get me wrong. And that was it. 
and I'm asking about the event. And you, as you can still see, I'm actually still seeing those. We're still wearing the same clothes because I am dealing with a fucking fit and bullshit. On top of it all, like I don't talk to anybody. I don't have many friends. I'm always on the move. It's like my my one really real friend is in Los Angeles right now. And I have another one developing right now in Calgary, but that's about it. So, that stated, after dealing with all these issues and whatnot, and then the electrical issue on top of it all, uh, after the hospital, I asked about this event that I, I was under the assumption that I could attend. And then it comes into a, uh, well, wait and let's see situation. And I can't deal with the wait and let's see situation. My time is too fucking valuable. So I go back and try to start figuring out the situation, try to get the car, because I just want to get out of there, because there's nothing holding me back. I could have gone to the tavern to go play, but, and I should have, because that would have made me feel better, cathartically, but I was in too far gone after, after going back, trying to figure out how to deal with the situations and mentally deal with everything. Great. Ugh. So mentally dealing with everything now, I, I you get people trying to help, but they're not listening to me and they're not working with me. They're talking around me and they're telling me how it is. And then I get my mom assisting her friend and her friend taking over everything and I'm explaining everything to a fucking T and there are blowing fuses just to blow fuses and I'm just like, what's going on? And now I'm in the freaking car balling and they just shut the door and they're like, what not? And they're not even helping me try to get to Walmart or try to figure it out. They're like, gotta figure it out tomorrow. And I'm like, if it's a circuit issue with something for short fuse and let's figure out where the fuses are wrong, let's write it down and let's get some light bulbs. But nobody sat down and listened to me. So they let me just freak out, freak out. They're, as they're playing around and doing their own shit and wasting time and then Blowing fuses, not replacing the fuses either that are blown. And just. And not respecting the way that I fucking feel. This is my problem with people. We all have feelings. Every person you invite to, you have to respect their feelings. If you don't, then you're doing everything you say you're not doing. And when you're respecting someone's feelings, you shut the fuck up. You listen. You understand their point of view. Don't bully them. You don't manipulate them. You don't act like their friend. You be real, truthful, and honest, and honorable. This is why, all the reasons why I'm heading back by myself, because simple enough, all the shit that I dealt with yesterday was unbearable. Then on top of it all, I thought I was heading back by myself, and I was planning on it, and then somebody changes their plans last minute, and starts what the fucking me again, and treating me like a fucking injured dog, and I'm tired of it. I'm an adult. Not a fucking plaything. This is where people have issues. Anyways, this is my rant for today. Fuck people.